All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right, staying strong and solid in these times that run. I pray that you have repented and that you were baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep finding a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow path and you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, cheer up, appreciate it, man. Always stay grateful for everything, man. Take it one day at a time and rejoice. Always rejoice, people. Amen. Let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for waking us up and giving us another chance to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, closing our back and a roof over our head. Let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out. And let's just thank the Lord for getting us through the morning, getting us through the evening, getting us through the night. His love, his grace, his mercy, his favor, his outstretched arm, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God, his word, his only begotten son died for our sins. Countless of things the Lord has, has done for us and continues to keep doing for us, amen, because his mercy endures forever. He always keeps his promises. He always protects his people, y'all. So always rejoice and just thank him. Give him all the glory, praise, and honor forevermore. Always. Amen. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Welcome, everyone. I appreciate all of you for listening and supporting. It means a lot to me. I love you all. Praying for you all. Let us always uplift each other in Christ and encourage each other in the Lord. Brothers and sisters of the faith, I love you all. Let us always comfort one another and support one another. We are scattered all four corners of the earth, but we are still here doing it. Amen. So God, always stay grateful and thankful. And just go at it. You know what I'm saying? Much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth, all ends of the earth. Much love to the church. Much love to the martyrs, the soon-to-be martyrs, the brave, courageous ones out there really doing it. And much love to all the great tribulation saints. Much love to all the great tribulation converts. Much love to all the believers of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, all four corners of the earth. Much love to all of you. Most definitely, y'all. Welcome, everyone. All peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faces, all kindreds, all four corners of the earth. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fish in the sea, all the birds in the air, the plants, the trees, the mountain of God, all the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us get together and sing a new song, clap our hands, stomp our feet, praise and play an instrument. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted and grafted in, it is all right. Let's just always rejoice, always rejoice, y'all. Cry out to him, worship in spirit of truth, and serve him with gladness and joy, people. Most definitely, y'all. Let us love the Lord our God for of our mind, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until the sun comes back. Amen. He is coming back like a thief in the night. He is coming back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. He is coming back for a people who are spotless, blameless, ready to go. Amen. So let's be washed up by the water, by the word. Let's be washed up by the water through the word. And let's keep our lamps and our oils, y'all. Always got to stay alert, sober, vigilant, ready, strong, have stability, be firm, steadfast, all those things, people. Got to stay upright in these times that we're in, y'all. Let's keep being doers of the word. Let's keep spreading the gospel. Let's keep doing the great commission. Let's keep doing Father's business and Father's will forevermore. Amen. Most definitely, y'all. Let us let the Lord keep revealing himself to us through dreams and visions, encounters, miracles, signs, wonders. Let the Lord just keep talking to us, express himself to us more often. Let the, let the Lord be more expressive to us. All right. Let us receive more of what the, what the Father's giving us. Amen. Let us know the Lord better. Let's get more close to him. Let's draw near to God. He'll draw near to us. Let's seek his face, y'all. Obey the gospel. Obey the law, statute, commandments, and obey all of God's word. And anything the Most High has told you personally, according to your life, your purpose, your calling, your situation, your future, handle that as well. Honor that, respect it, and do your part. The Most High will always do his part. He'll always stay faithful. He'll always do his part. But we have to do our end. Amen. So let us be obedient and upright and take it one day at a time, y'all. Praise the Lord, y'all. Praise him, y'all. Welcome, people. Welcome, family. Shalom, family. Greetings, people. All right, so in today's message, we're going to do a commentary in the book of Second Kings regarding Elijah and Elisha, all right, Elisha. So we'll go through today's Bible reading, and then we'll go through the recommended reading scriptures, and then we'll go through the actual commentary, and then we will close out with a prayer, we will close out with a priestly blessing, and we will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise His only begotten Son who died for our sins, amen. Hallelujah, people. All right, so I would love to read the introduction and the essentials of the book of Second Kings, okay? 
So here we go. The book of 2 Kings provides the historical backdrop for many later prophetic books in the Old Testament. Elisha, Elisha takes up Elijah's mantle of spiritual authority, and God continues to provide warnings and direction to a people intent on pursuing their own purposes. In both Judah and Israel, king after king fails to listen to God's word. Yet a few give glimpses of God's stronghold on their lives. Elijah had learned that God has more people in his service than he had expected, had he had suspected. See 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 18. Elisha learns the same valuable lesson when God opens his spiritual eyes and he sees the hills full of horses and chariots of fire all around. The book of 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 17. As you read, take note that no matter how things appear, those who trust in God are never alone or outnumbered. Amen. What to look for in 2 Kings? Illustrations of God's protection, the value of spiritual mentoring, God's miracle working power, God's mercy toward foreigners, how God speaks through prophets, the permanent consequences of permanent of persistent sin, God's consistency in honoring his promises. Amen. Okay, so with the first commentary of 2 Kings, the title of it is A Special Friend. So today's Bible reading, we're going to go to the book of 2 Kings, chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. Elijah taken up to heaven. When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind, Elijah and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Gagal. Elijah said to Elisha, stay here. The Lord has sent me to Bethel. But Elisha said, as surely as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel. The company of the prophets at Bethel came out to Elisha and asked, Do you know that the Lord is going to take your master from you today? Yes, I know, Elisha replied, but do not speak of it. Then Elijah said to him, Stay here, Elisha. The Lord has sent me to Jericho. As he replied, As surely as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. So they went to Jericho. <laughs> the company of the prophets at Jericho went up to Elisha and asked him, Do you know that the Lord is going to take your master from you today? Yes, I know, he replied, but do not speak of it. Then Elijah said to him, stay here. The Lord has sent me to the Jordan. And he replied, as surely as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. So the two of them walked on. Fifty men of the company of the prophets went and stood at a distance, facing the place where Elijah and Elisha had stopped at the Jordan. Elijah took his cloak, rolled it up, and struck the water with it. The water divided to the right and to the left, and the two of them crossed over on dry ground. When they had crossed, Elijah said to Elisha, to Elisha, tell me, what can I do for you before I am taken from you? Let me inherit a double portion of your spirit, Elisha replied. You have asked a difficult thing. Elijah said, yet if you see me when I am taken up from you, it will be yours, otherwise not. As they were walking along and talking together, suddenly a chariot of fire and horses of fire appeared and separated two of them, and Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. Powerful stuff right there. All right, so that's just the, today's Bible reading of Second Kings chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. And you see that powerful dynamic, that powerful relationship and friendship that they had. Um, no matter where Elijah went, Elisha went and followed him right where he was, you know. So good, loyal friends, good people always stick to each other and stay real kinsmen, you know what I mean? Real brothers. So, you know, it's very powerful to see how Elijah was so righteous and holy and obedient that the father rewarded him by just taking him up to heaven with chariots and a whirlwind, you know. And a double portion of what Elijah had was passed on to Elisha, you know what I mean? His mantle uh, was off to Elisha. So that's why um, the Elijah's ministry is a very important aspect of the Old Testament until this day, because everything Elijah did was passed out all the way through all the prophets of the Old Testament, all the way through John the Baptist, and it came uh, prior to the Messiah's, um, when the Messiah came to earth, you know. It just shows you how God's power, God's word is forever. Amen. So we know that God's power, God's word doesn't just sit in one era, it's forever. It continuously, get, it continuously gets passed down, passed down, okay? So that's how we have to be in these last days that we're in. We still have to operate in God's word and God's power, amen? All right, so let's read the recommended reading scriptures, okay? Proverbs chapter 27, verse 17. As iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. Amen, amen. Let us go to Colossians chapter 3. Verses 15 through 17. 
Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom, and as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Amen. Let us go to the book of Hebrews, chapter 3, verses 12 through 14. See to it, brothers, that none of you has a sinful, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God, but encourage one another daily, as long as it is called today, so that none of you may be hardened by sin's deceitfulness. We have come to share in Christ if we hold firmly to the end the confidence we had at first. As has just been said, today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as you did in the rebellion. Amen. All right. So that was 15 as well. Okay. So that's the book of Hebrews chapter 3. Verses 12 through 14 and 15 reading, okay? Now let's go to the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 23 through 25. Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. Let us not give up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another. And all the more as you see the day approaching. Amen, people. Amen. We've got to embrace and cherish each other more often. You know, this world is going in the direction of negativity and isolation and separation or what have you. And a lot of people just have that spirit of division in them heart. But as fellow brothers and sisters of the faith, we got to have that unity. Got to really have true love because true love covers all transgressions. It covers all sins. And that forgiveness and harmony has to be there, okay? Um, let there not be any discord, you know what I'm saying, within the assembly or any gatherings. You feel me? And, uh, if you are being on this narrow path and you are isolated by default and not want to be unequally yoked with people, then that's one thing. But if you if there's another brother, sister of the faith, you gotta make it right with them. Amen. So so it's important to see the relationships and friendships that you see throughout the Bible, how close and kin Elijah and Elisha was, or Moses and Joshua. You know, you know what I mean, how close these people were in each other's lives. So we have to really have an impact on each other in a godly way. Amen. You know the book of Proverbs it says a brother is born for adversity, and a friend loves at all times. All right, so we got to be around supportive, strong, loving people and make sure we're strong and loving comfort towards one another. Amen. Let's always support each other, okay? So that is today's Bible reading and recommended scripture reading, okay? So now we will get to the actual commentary itself. The title of this commentary is A Special Friend. In 1919, a young man recovered from injuries suffered in World War I rented a small apartment in Chicago he chose a location to be near the home of a man named Sherwood Anderson, an author. Anderson had written the popular novel, Winesburg, Ohio, and he was known to be willing to share his wisdom with young writers. The two men spent time together nearly every day. They shared meals, took long walks, and discussed writing late into the night. The young man wrote passages and asked Anderson to critique them, which the novelist did with the brutal honesty. With brutal honesty, the young man didn't defend himself or his writing because as he said later, I didn't know how to write until I learned from Sherwood. Within two years, the young man set off to write on his own. In 1926, he publicized, he published his first novel, The Sun Also Rises, which was met with critical acclaim. His name was Ernest Hemingway, one of the greatest American writers of his generation. But the story doesn't end there. Sherwood Anderson also mentored William Faulkner, William Faulkner, Thomas Wolfe, William Saroyan, Saroyan, and John Steinbeck. Three of Anderson's protégés earned Nobel Prizes, four won Pulitzer, Pulitzer Prizes. Why did Sherwood Anderson help aspiring new writers? Perhaps because he himself had been mentored by the framed, by the famed authors Theodore Drezer and Carl Sandburg. Elijah served as Elisha's mentor long before that word was coined. Elijah believed in Elisha and wanted him to succeed as a prophet. Elijah willingly offered himself to Elisha to assure the younger prophet's success. God brought Elijah into Elisha's life in order to prepare, train, and befriend him for fulfilling the role of prophet to the nation of Israel. Do you have a spiritual mentor? Mentoring goes well beyond information and activity. It builds on the maturity and integrity of the individuals in the mentoring relationship. Mentoring brings in a level of accountability that fosters growth and helps the beneficiary of the tutoring to stay on the right path. 
perhaps you might consider offering your wisdom to another person who is new to the faith or faltering in his walk with God. Either way, take a moment to consider how mentoring could play a role in your own spiritual development. Amen. Things to take away from the commentary. Who are the mentors in your life? Those people who believe in you and what to and want to see you succeed. In what areas of your spiritual life do you need honest appraisal? To whom will you offer yourself as a trusted, confident, and friend? Amen. Quote, unquote, in other words, great leaders produce other leaders. John C. Maxwell. Amen, y'all. It's very important when it comes to development, growth, mentor, mentoring, relationships, friendships, bonds. All those things in life are very important, man. It really is, bro. In a lot of cases, a lot of people really don't have mentors or people like that in their life. A lot of people are really on this narrow path, like kind of all by themselves, just really trying to figure it out what have you. But um, down the road, and then you have many people who have great mentors, like a, a another church member or a friend, a pastor or a bishop or a deacon or first lady. I mean, however it works for each people is different. You know, all in all, it just shows you how a lot of times everybody can't do it by themselves. We always need the right person around us. We know obviously that the Messiah is a pure example, what have you, but as excellent and great the Messiah was, he walked around the 12 disciples. He mentored all of them. You see how that goes and how Elijah, Elisha, Moses, Joshua, um, Joshua was Moses' assistant. You know what I'm saying? So it's always important to have the right people around us, uh, proper people you could pass the torch to or pass something on to them. You know, the thing about the word of God, the power of God, it's not meant to be kept to oneself. It's meant to be shared and passed on. Amen. So Moses, Elijah, the Messiah, they showed us how it's supposed to be done. So we have to question to ask ourselves, what are we passing on to other people? You know, what are we leaving behind? What le- what legacy are we leaving behind? What are we doing for others? You feel me? Are we really doing things for the kingdom? Are we really doing things for God? Are we doing things for other people? What are we servicing people with? What are we giving people with? You know, we got to be better in these areas of our lives. And I speak for myself as well. Anybody listening, you know, we have to keep passing things on to people, keep teaching people things, mentoring people, correcting each other, iron sharpens iron, all these things. It's very challenging for certain people in this last days that we're in, this time that we're in, but we still have to do God's work and God's service um, regardless of who's around us, amen? So let's be more better in those areas of our lives and keep doing it the way the word shows how to do it. Hallelujah. Amen, y'all. So there you have it. That is the commentary, all right? So what I would love to do as I close out is give all the praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise His only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah, y'all. So here we go. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord of hosts, y'all, Almighty Creator, Almighty God, a true Creator. Praise Him, y'all. He is the God of Shem, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel. Most definitely praise the Most High. His Son died for our sins. His His blood cleaned up our mess, y'all. Praise the Messiah, y'all. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, the advocate, the almighty, true, living God, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The apostle of our profession, the arm of the Lord, the atoning sacrifice for our sins, the author and finisher of our faith, the author and perfecter of our faith, the author of life, the author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God, the beloved son, the blessing only potent, the blessing only ruler, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, Wonderful Counselor, the Creator, the Dayspring, the Deliverer, the Desire of the Nations, the Door, the Elect of God, Emmanuel, the Eternal Life, the Everlasting Father, the Faith and True Witness, Faithful and True, the Faithful Witness, the First and the Last, the First Begotten, the First Born from the Dead, First Born over all creation, the Forerunner, the Gate, the Glory of the Lord, God, the Good Shepherd, the Great High Priest, the Great Shepherd, the Head of the Church, the Heir of all things, the High Priest, Holy and True, the Holy One, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am that I am, that I am who I am, the great I am, the image of God. Yehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shalom, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King Eternal. He is a king of Israel. Amen. He is a king of kings. Hallelujah. He is a king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna of the highest praise. King of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver. The leader, commander, the life, the life of the world, the line of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness. The Lord is my portion. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my rock. The Lord is my salvation. The Lord is my refuge. The Lord is my high tower. The Lord is my shield. The Lord is my buckler. Yes, y'all. He is the redeemer. He is the branch. He is our provider. Praise the most high forevermore. The Lord our God is one. There's no other like him. Praise him. 
Yah, Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahawashai, Yahweh, Be Yahweh, Ahai Yashai, Yeshua, Hamashiach, Barakatha, Shalom, Shalom, Yeshua, Elohim, Yehosha, Yehusha, Yehosha, Ahai Yashaya, Adonai, Elohim. He is the good fortress, He is the high tower. Most definitely the sustainer, the sufficient one. Most definitely, y'all. He is the consuming fire. He is the father of lights, the father of the fatherless, the father of widows, the father of mercies. He is the God of heaven and earth. His son sits at the right hand of him. The government rests on his shoulders. He's the great physician, can heal all things. He's the carpenter, can fix all things. With God, all things are possible. Nothing's too hard for the Lord. God made everything in six days and rest on the seventh day. He could fix your situation right now in the name of Jesus. We touch and agree, y'all. Call on him and he'll show you great mighty things. Search and seek for him with all your heart. He'll show, and yes, y'all, he is a reward to those who seek him diligently, y'all. Got to seek him with your whole heart. He is a reward to those who seek him diligently, people. Got to cry out to him. Got to believe in him. Got to have that faith. It is impossible please without faith, y'all. That faith got to be there, y'all. Your faith made you well. Your faith saved you. Faith, faith, faith. Walk by faith, not by sight. The just shall live by faith. You'll need more faith more than ever in these last days. Hallelujah. Praise the most high. Most definitely, y'all. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracles, signs, wonders. The most high do all that for you with his outstretched arm, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God will do it. Hallelujah. We are in agreement with the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Most definitely by his grace, by his power, by his love, by his spirit, all these things will be accomplished. Hallelujah. Let's, let's be in that faith forevermore. Faith, 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 people. Praise him, y'all. Praise him. Very excellent, y'all. The Lord got you through all those things your lifetime. Why he can't get you through this? Amen. He got you. Praise the Lord. He keep, he keep looking out for us. Amen. There's no limit to his giving and his generosity and his outstretched arm. Unlimited creator. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, y'all. He is the Lord of all. The Lord of glory, the Lord of lords, the man from heaven, the man of sorrows, the mediator of the new covenant, the mediator, the messenger of the covenant, the Messiah, the mighty God, the mighty one, the morning star, the Nazarene, the offspring of David, the only begotten son of God, our great God and savior, our holiness, our spiritual husband, our Passover, our protection, our redemption, our righteousness, our sacrifice, the Passover lamb, the power of God, the precious cornerstone, the prince of kings, the prince of life, the prince of peace. The prophet, the redeemer, the resurrection and life, the resurrection, the resurrected of life, the revelation, the revelator, the righteous branch, the righteous one, the radiant one, the perfect example, the rock, the root of David, the rose of Sharon, the ruler of God's creation, the ruler of the kings of the earth, the savior, the seed of woman, the shepherd and bishop of souls, the Shiloh, the son of Abraham, the son of David, the son of God, the son of man, son of the blessed, son of the most high God. The source of eternal salvation for all who obey him, the son of righteousness, the just one, the one mediator, the stone the builders rejected, the true bread, the true God, the true light, the true vine. Yes, he is the truth. Amen. He is the way. Hallelujah. He is the way, truth, and life. Praise him. The wisdom of God, the witness, the wonderful counselor, the word, the word of God, the word of life, the word of Yahuwah, the word of Elohim, the word of Yahweh, the word of Yahweh Shai, the word of Ye Yeshua, Yehosha, Yehusha, the true word, y'all. Most definitely, y'all. His word is pure, fine, silver, just as David said in his Psalms. Every word of God is pure, as the book of Proverbs says. And we know that his words are double-edged, so as the book of Hebrews says. Amen. We touch and agree, y'all. So keep calling on the name of the Lord, y'all. Let the Lord do it for you, man. He'll show you great, mighty things, people. Let us be more better in areas of our lives. Let us be more practical and reasonable and make more sense of the things that we're doing. Let us be more consistent and on point forevermore. Amen. It's just a lot going on already. It's New Year's start. It's a lot going on. Amen. So... We definitely need the Messiah more than ever. Amen. Most definitely. Always got to remind yourself of how excellent, how awesome he is and how much he died for our sins. You know, you got to always remind yourself how great he is in the midst of your situations and, and what have you. Amen. Praise the most high, y'all. He is the Lord Jesus Christ, y'all. The Lord of all, the abiding son, the abolisher of the enemy, abundant grace, abundant life, ancient of days, Adonai, advocate, Alif and Ta'u, Alpha and Omega, altogether lovely. Amen. Anchor of souls, angel of God, angel of his presence. Angel of Jacob, angel of the Lord, anointed king, anointed one, anointed of the Holy Spirit, anointed preacher, anointed witness, anointed of my head, another king, another priest, anthem of a new song, the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel, apple tree, appointed heir, appointed judge, appointed of God, appointed sacrifice, appointer of seasons, approved of God, ark of strength, arm of his strength, arm of, uh, arm of redemption, arm of the Lord, armor of God, assurance of our hearts, a stonied one, author, finisher of our faith, author of eternal salvation, arrow of conviction, author of peace with God, author of book of life, availing shield and buckler, baby of Bethlehem, baby and child of promise, balm of Galeed, banner of Israel, banner of love, baptizer, bearer of the seven stars, beautiful and glorious branch, beauty of holiness, beauty of the Lord, beginning and ending, beginning of wisdom, beloved white and ruddy one, beloved Beloved of the Father, beloved Son, better than angels, blessed and glorious Lamb, blessed and only potent, blessed and glorious name, blessed Lamb of glory, 
blessed one, blessed rock, blessed are the children, branch, branch of righteousness, bread, bread of heaven, bread of God, bread of life, breastplate of our righteousness, bridegroom, bridegroom lamb, bright light of glory, brightness of his glory, brightness of the Lord, brightness of thy rising, bringer of good things, brother of James, buckler to the upright, buckler to all, builder and maker, builder of the church, bruised and afflicted of God, bruiser of Satan, captain of salvation, captain of the Lord's host, carpenter, carpenter Jesus, carpenter son, chief cornerstone, chief shepherd, chiefest among 10,000, child Jesus, child of the Holy Spirit, chosen of God, chosen stone of God, Christ Jesus, Christ Jesus the Lord, Christ of God, Christ our life, Christ our peace, Christ the crucified, Christ the King of Israel, Christ the Lord, Christ the rock. Christ, the son of David, Christ, the son of God, Christ, the son of the blessed, Christ, the first fruits, clout of the Lord, cluster of the campfire, comfort of the mourners, comforter of Zion, compassionate shepherd, consuming fire, confidence, conquering lamb, consecrated son, consolation of Israel, complete controller of all, completer of the saints, contradiction of sinners, counsel of the most high, covenant of the people, covenant of promise, convert from the storm, creator of Israel, creator of the new heavens and earth, creator of principalities and powers, creator of the earth, creator of the heavens, creator of visible and invisible things things, creator of the winds, crown of glory, crown of pure gold, darling, days man, day spring from on high, day star, defense, deliverer, deliverer to Zion, deliverer of my soul, designer of the universe, desire of all nations, desire of our soul, desire of the bride, desire of the prophets and kings, desire of the righteous, desire of women, despised and rejected one, despised of the people, due of youth, due unto Israel, diadem of beauty, disallowed stone, door of faith, door of the sheep, dweller of the heavenlies, El Shaddai, enlarger of God, Elohim, enlarger of my heart, enlightener of my darkness, ensign, ensign for the nations, ensign of the people, enthroned priest, equal of God, establisher of the ends of the earth, eternal Christ, eternal life, eternal word, Eucharist of our faith, everlasting God, everlasting king, everlasting name, everlasting priest, everlasting living intercessor, ever living one, ever merciful one, exalted and extolled servant, exalted God of salvation, exalted lamb, exalted name, exceeding joy, our guard, our sure reward, excellency of God, excellent, Excellent and comely one, executor of judgment, executor of righteousness, expectation of David, express image, eye of the Lord, face of God, face of the Lord, fairer than children of man, faithful, faithful ambassador, faithful creator, faithful Lord, faithful and just forgiver, faithful witness, faithfulness, father of the fatherless, fellow, first and last, first begotten, first begotten from the dead, fire of Zion, firstborn, firstborn among many brethren, firstborn from the dead, firstborn of every creature, firstborn son, first fruits of them that slept, first love, foolishness, that he is an excellent wonder, ama amazing God, praise the most high, the excellence of God, foreordained eternally, forerunner, former of all things, former of Jacob and Israel, former of the light, fountain of Jacob, fountain of the house of David, framer of the worlds, free gift, friend, friend forever, friend of Abraham, friend of public and sinners, fruit of the earth, fruit of the womb, fullness of the father, fullness of the Godhead, garden of earth, gather of the winds, Gentiles trust, gift of God, giver of secrets and treasures of earth giver of the good spirit, giver of the Holy Spirit, gladness of the nations, glorious arm, glorious honor of thy majesty, glorious Lord, glorious voice with us, glory of God's majesty, glory of Israel, glory of the Gentiles, God blessed forever, God manifest in flesh, God of David, God of great kindness, God of pardon and new life, God of righteousness and wrath, God of Jeshurun, God our Savior, God with us, God is with us, good and upright, good Lord, good shepherd, good teacher, good man of the house, governor, governor of many nations, gracious God, gracious Lord, gracious and full of compassion, great counselor, great door, great God, great high priest, great king, great Lord, great one, great peace, great prophet, great savior, great shepherd, great and excellent, wonderful, amazing God, greater than Abraham, greater than Isaac, greater than Jacob, greater than Jonah, greater than David, greater than Noah, greater than Solomon, greater than our hearts, greater and more perfect tabernacle, greatness of excellency, greatness of might, greatness of strength, greatness of thy power. Greatness of Zion, green tree, guarantor of our security, guarantor of the new covenant, guarantor of the tree of life, guide for us, hand of the Lord, hanged redeemer, harmless, hated one, hater of iniquity, head above all, head of all principality and powers, head of every man, head of the body, head of the corner, head of the church, head over all, head over things, healer, healer of broken hearts, healer of souls, healer of wounds, health of my countenance, hearer of prayer, help of his countenance, helper of the helpless, heir of all things, hidden God, hidden manna, high above all, high and lofty one, high God, high Lord, high priest of good things, high priest of our profession, high priest over house of God, high right hand, high tower of mine, higher than heavens, higher than kings, highest one, his brightness, his dear son, his excellent greatness, his holiness, his holy arm, his loving kindness, his mighty hand, his right hand, his son, Jesus Christ. 
his son, our Lord, holy than thou, holy and true, holy child Jesus, holy Lord God, holy name, holy one, holy one and just, holy one of God, holy one of Israel, holy one of Jacob, holy one of Mount Paran, holy thing, honorable lamb of glory, honored son, hope in a day of evil, hope of David, hope of eternal life, hope of glory, hope of his people Israel, hope of Israel, hope of righteousness, hope of the promise, hope and joy of Abraham, hope and joy of Simeon, horn of David, horn of salvation, horn of the house of David, horn of the house of Israel, horn of my salvation. Hosanna of the highest praise, house of defense, humbler of the high minded, husband of Israel, husband of the bride. I am the I am that I am, that I am who I am, the great I am, image of God, image of the believers, image of the Father, image of the invisible God, Emmanuel, God is with us, immortal, incarnate God, infinite one, inheritor of all nations, inheritor of my mountains, intercessor of sinners, Jasper and Sardin Stone. Jealous God, Jesus, Jesus Christ, our Lord, Jesus Christ, our Savior, Jesus Christ, the righteous, Jesus of Galilee, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the crucified, Jesus, the grace and truth, Jesus, the kings of the Jews, Jew, judge, judge among nations, judge of all the earth, judge of Israel, judge of quick and dead, judge of the fatherless, judge of widows, justified of the spirit, justifier of the circumcision, justifier of the seed of Israel, just God, just Lord, just man, just one, just Savior, keeper of Israel, keeper of the covenant of mercy. Keeper of the covenant and mercy, keeper of the keys of hell and death, kindler of Tophet, king beautiful, king eternal, king forever, king of all the earth, king of glory, king of heaven, king of Israel, king of Jacob, king of kings and lord of lords, king of nations, king of peace, king of righteousness, king of saints, king of the Jews, king of truth, king of Zion, kinsman nearer than I, kinsman redeemer. Kodashim, holy one. Korban, sacrifices. Lamb, lamb of God, lamb of Mount Zion, lamb of 144,000 sealed Israelites of the 12 tribes of Israel. Lamb of salvation, lamb of the great multitude, lamb of the 12 apostles, lamb slain from the foundation, lamb to the slaughter, lamb without spot and blemish, lamp, lamp of the feet, last Adam, leader and commander, life, life of man, lifted and exalted son, lifted up suffering symbol, lifted up my head, light and truth, light everlasting, light and darkness, light of heaven, light of Israel, light of life, light of men, light of the city, Light of the Gentiles, light of the glorious gospel, light of the glory of God, light of the path, light of the world, light of thy countenance, lily among thorns, lily of the valley, lion of the tribe of Judah, lion of Zion, living bread, living redeemer, living savior, living stone, long suffering God, Lord in Christ, Lord in God, Lord and shepherd, Lord from heaven, Lord, Lord God of the holy prophets, Lord God of Mount Sinai, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, Lord of glory, Lord Messiah, Lord most high, Lord Yahweh, Yahuwah, Yahawashai, everlasting strength, Lord of a new covenant, Lord of all, Lord of David, Lord of glory, Lord of the heaven and earth, Lord of heaven and earth, Lord of hosts, Lord of kings, Lord of lords, Lord of peace, Lord of heaven's riches, Lord of the harvest, Lord of the Sabbath, Lord of the scriptures, Lord of the second advent, Lord of the whole earth, Lord our hope, Lord our judge, Lord our king, Lord our Lord, Lord our maker, Lord our righteousness, Lord our shield, Lord over all. Lord, the God of hosts, Lord, the judge, Lord, thy creator, Lord, thy redeemer, Lord, thy savior, love of righteousness, magnified Lord, magnified name, majesty, maker of all things, maker of Israel, maker of morning darkness, maker of one new man, maker of peace, maker of the new way, maker of the path in the sea, man, Christ Jesus, man of God, man of sorrows, man of thy right hand, man of war, man of from heaven. Marred one, master in heaven, master of the house, master of the sea, mediator of a better covenant, mediator of the new covenant, mediator of the new testament, mediator between God and man. Meek and lowly Jesus, merciful and faithful high priest, merciful God, messenger of the covenant, Messiah, Messiah the prince, mightier than the mighty waves, mightier than the noise of any waters, mighty and strong one, mighty arm, mighty God, mighty hand of God, mighty man, mighty one of Israel, mighty one of Jacob, mighty power, mighty savior, mighty strength, mighty wisdom, mind of the Lord, mind anointed, mind elect, mind holy one, minister of the circumcision, minister of the sanctuary, minister of the true tabernacle, most holy, most mighty, most upright, mystery of godliness, narrow gate, Nazarene, near Lord, obedient son, offspring of David, ointment poured, the only one, the true one, the one, the Lord, the Lord our God is one, is no other like him, one and only sacrifice, one Lord, one shepherd, only rock, ordained lamp of the anointed, ordained of the Father, ordainer of the preachers, our King, our Lord, our Passover, our peace, our Sabbath, our sin offering, overcome a lamb, overcome of the overcomers, overcome of the principalities. Overcomer of the world, overseer of the congregation, pattern of the believers, peacemaker, perfect peace, physician, great physician, excellent physician, wonderful physician, pierced Messiah, pierced one, pillar of fire, plant of renown, pleased of the father, polished shaft, portion of Jacob, portion of land of living, portion of mine inheritance, possessor of heaven and earth, potent, 
Pater, power of God, powerful and rich lamb, praise of the children, praise of the saints, preacher of good things, preacher of righteousness, precious lamb, precious Lord, precious stone, preeminent one, preparer of heavenly places, preserver of men, preserver of saints, preserver of the word, preserver of the faithful, preserver of his creation, priest, priest forever of Melchizedek, prince of life, prince of princes, prince of the kings of the earth, prophet of his brethren, prophet from Nazareth of Galilee, prophet mighty deed and truth, Propiation for sins, propiation for our, of our faith, propiation of our faith, proverb to his people, pure one, quickening love, quickening spirit, quickening word, rabbi, rabbani, ransom for all, recompenser, reconciler of enemies, reconciler of things earthly and heavenly things, redeemer and forgiver, redeemer of Abraham, redeemer of Israel, redeemer of souls, redeemer of the first testament, redeemer of Zion, redeemer the holy one, redeemer the lamb, redeemer the Lord of hosts, redemption, refiner and purifier, refuge for the oppressed, refuge for us, refuge from the storm, refuge in day of affliction, refuge in trouble, reigning lamb, reproach of of men, rest for our souls, restorer of Zion, reject the stone of builders, resurrection and judge, resurrection and the life, revealer of secrets, revealer of counsels of the heart. Revealer of the hidden mystery, revealer of the hidden things, reverend, rewarder of servants and prophets, righteous, righteous and very faithful testimony, right hand of David, right hand of my righteousness, righteous branch, righteous God, righteous judge, righteous man, righteous one, righteous rock, righteous servant, risen light, risen Lord, river of waters, rock higher than I, rock of Israel, rock of my refuge, rock of my salvation, rock of offense, rock of the church, rock of the wilderness, rock and fortress, rock our God, rock the Lord, rod and branch, rod of his mouth, rod of my anger, rod of of my strength, rod of that inheritance, root of David, rose of Sharon, ruler of Israel, rule of the 24 elders, salvation of all nations, salvation of God, salvation of the daughters of Zion, Samaritan, help the Samaritan woman, same Lord over all. Same stone of prophecy, same yesterday, today, forever, same word of eternity, sanctified a sent one, saving health, saving strength of his anointed, savior, savior Jesus, savior of all, savior of the body, savior of the lost, savior of the world, scepter out of Israel, scorned one, searcher of hearts, second man, secret of thy presence, seed of Abraham, promise, seed of Adam, humanity, seed of David, kingship, seed of God, deity, seed of Jacob, nationality, seed of Judah, tribe, seed of Shem, race, seed of woman, prophecy, Amen. We touch and agree on the authority and power name of Jesus Christ. You are healed, renewed, restored, redeemed, forgiven, embraced, loved. New mind, new heart, new soul, new hands to prosper, new footsteps, new path, new journey, new dreams, new visions, new song to sing, new stability, renewed strength, renewed heart, joy, gladness, merry heart. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord most high. Uh, praise the most high. Healing, restoration, deliverance, miracles, signs, wonders, new things. The Lord's doing a new thing. Become a new creature in Christ. Be born again in the spirit of water. Start your life over the most high. Repent. Get baptized. Start your life over, people. Praise the most high. You have a new life in the, in the Messiah. You have new life in the Messiah, y'all. Praise the Lord. The Lord gave you a new mind, gave you new eyes, gave you a new heart, gave you new hands, gave you new everything, new temple, new creation in Christ. Born again. Enter the, enter the kingdom like a child, all right? Be born again, people. Praise the most high for everlasting blessings. Praise the Lord for everlasting life. Praise the Lord for everything. Prayers up to those that have names written in Lamb's Book of Life. Prayers for those that have their name written and recorded in heaven. Prayers for those that have eternal life in a hundredfold. Prayers at those set at the table, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Prayers for those that have the crown of life, the crown of rejoicing, the five crowns of heaven. Prayers for those that have the, the mansions that the Messiah and the Most High promise to those who inherit all of it, who seek it. Prayers for those that have to store up your treasures in heaven, y'all. Prayers for those two, when it's all said and done, the Messiah looks at you and says, well done, good and faithful servant. Amen. Prayers up, prayers up, prayers up, y'all. Prayers for those who are dealing with sadness or depression. Prayers for those who are dealing with affliction and pain. Prayers for those who are dealing with resentment, guilt, or forgiveness. Prayers for those to have a forgiving heart from now on. Prayers for those who are dealing with loneliness or isolation or being misunderstood. Prayers for those who are being afflicted or lied on or accused, falsely accused of things, anybody dealing with uh, betrayal, prayers for those who are in prison or incarcerated or in court, prayers for those who deal with domestic violence, prayers for those who are dealing with um, cyber bullying or cyber attacks, prayers for those who are dealing with harassment, prayers for those who have dealt with some type of trauma throughout their lifetime, prayers for those who have a hard time dealing with healing, prayers for those who have a hard time moving past things, prayers for those in all types of conditions or situations all over the world, prayers for those who are out or in poverty or poor out in the street or uh, dealing with eviction notices or dealing with rent issues. Prayer for those who need help with their bills being paid. Prayers for those who need more resources and guidance and support. Prayers for those who are single parents or widows. Prayers for those who are dealing with issues within the household. Prayers for those who are dealing with friendship issues. Prayer for those who are dealing with their marriage. Prayers for marriages out there. Prayers for people in all colors, races, situations all over the ends of the earth. Prayers for everybody. Amen. Prayers, y'all. 
Come on, people, start up your church in heaven, y'all. Start up your church in heaven. Come on, y'all, get to it. Get on a narrow path and stay on it. Amen. Praise the most high forevermore. Yes, he is the seeking shepherd, the self-existent one, separate from sinners, servant, servant of rulers, servant of the Father, servant of the Lord, shade upon thy right hand, shadow of a great rock, shadow of his hand, shadow of mine hand, shadow of the Almighty, shadow of thy wings, shalom of God, shekinah, glory, shelter, shelter of his flock, shepherd of Israel, shepherd of souls, shepherd of the flock, shepherd of the little flock, shepherd of the other sheep, shepherd of the sheep, shepherd of tender compassion, shepherd lamb, shepherd of the valley, shield for me, shield of thy help, Shiloh, shorn lamb, sign spoken again, silent and meek lamb, Sin bearer, sinless high priest, sinless one, sir, slayer of the enemy, smitter of the nation, smitten judge of Israel, smitten rock of Horeb, smitten shepherd, smitten of God, son of man, sower of the word of God, spirit of Christ, song of drunkards, son from heaven, son of David, son of freedom, son of God, son of Joseph, son of man in heaven, son of man, the savior, son of Mary, son of peace, son of the father, son of the free woman, son of the highest, son of the living God, son of truth, son over his house. Spiritual drink, spiritual meat, spiritual rock, spoil of the principality, spokesman of the father, sprinkler of nations and king star out of Jacob, stay, stiller of the raging sea, stone cut without hands. Stone of Israel, stone of stumbling, stone the builders rejected, stranger and alien, strength in song, strength in time of trouble, strength of Israel, strength of my heart, strength of my life, strength of the children, strength of the Lord. Strength of the children, strength of the Lord, strength to the needy, strength to the poor, stretched out arm, outstretched arm, strong arm, strong habitation, strong hand, strong Lord, strong redeemer, strong power, strong rock, strong hold, strong tower, stumbling stone, son of righteousness, sure foundation, sure mercies of David, sure steadfast anchor, surety of a better testament, surety of David, sustainer, sufficient one, sword of thy excellency, tabernacle, tabernacle of God, teacher from God, teacher of David, teacher of my path, tempest of hail and destroying storm, temple, temple of the city, tender plant, Excellent, amazing, awesome, fabulous, wonderful, great God, excellence of the kings, testament of prophecy, testator, testimony of the scriptures, that bread, that eternal life, that one from the beginning, that prophet, that rock, the creator, the everlasting arm. The Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise him. The everlasting arm, the excellent delight, the glory, the glorious honor of thy majesty, the glory of their strength, the grace of God, the highest, the just, the justification of life, the justification of many, the king, the Lord, my hiding place, the Lord, my helper and deliverer, the love of God, the man, the manifest life, the mercy of the most high, the mighty of Jacob, the rock of our salvation, the savior, the victory, the savior of upright hearts, the secret of the Lord, the son of the Lord God. The song of Moses, the sower, the straight gate, thine holy one, thresher of wheat and chaff, throne of God's holiness, thou Christ, tower of David, tower and fortress, tower of salvation, trample of the young lion and dragon, treader of the angry waves, treader of the high places, treader of the lion and adder. Treader of the wine presses, thy glorious name, thy kindness and marvelous comfort, thy staff and comfort, thy praise, treasure of wisdom, tried stone, triumph Christ, triumph overcomer, triumph lamb, true and faithful witness, true and righteous judge, true bread from heaven, true God and eternal life, true light, true vine, truth, uncorrupted and glorified one, uncomprehendable light, undefiled, unknown God, God works in mysterious ways, his words fail not, his words do not come back void, his word is true and forever, praise the most high, unspeakable gift, upholder of all things uphold in right hand valiant right hand veil to the new and living way very beautiful king very christ very foundation of the church very god of peace very great very high very high priest very high servant very lovely song very present help very pure word victorious king and lord victorious lord jesus victorious one victory vine voice of great thunder voice of many waters voice of the almighty voice of the lord god wall of fire water of life way way everlasting way of salvation way of the just way of the lord way to the holiest weakness of god well beloved of god well beloved son white linen of the saints white stone wisdom wisdom and knowledge wisdom of the just wise and strong lamb witness witness of the father witness of truth witness to the people wonderful counselor word word made flesh word of god word of his power word of life word of righteousness word Word of the Lord, worshipful Lord, worthy Lamb of heaven, worthy Lord Jesus, worthy Redeemer, worthy servant, worthy servant, wounded one in house of friends, wounded one for transgressors, yoke of peace and rest, young child, seal of the Lord of hosts, zealous one, hallelujah, praise the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forevermore. Praise the Lord, y'all, his son died for our sins. Amen. Praise him, praise him, praise him, all right? So there you have it, people, all right? That is the commentary of the word for today, all right? Let's be better friends. Let's be better friends to each other, okay? Let our bonds be better and stronger in the name of the Lord, amen? Amen. So what I'll let do as I close, I'll give you all a priestly blessing on the way out. 
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And they shall put my name on the children of Israel and the Israelites, and I will bless them. Amen. Jarvis Kingston, I love you all. Stay strong. Peace.